The Roosevelt County Jail has had its share of bad press after five inmates escaped in 2013 and just last year another on yard duty attacked an officer with an axe. But today, officials tell me the past is in the past and the jail is moving forward. I, yeah, I feel more human. These are words Danny Espinoza never thought he'd say after spending a lengthy time in the Roosevelt County Detention Center. Espinoza was known as one of the most unruly, out-of-control inmates in the entire jail. However, today, officers say he's changed, and it's all thanks to the jail's new beginnings. Sometimes when I look at changes, I always like to title that as enhancements. And part of the thing is that when we came inside uh, into the facility on June 8th, when I came inside, uh, the enhancements are is to ensure that we provide a safe and a secure environment for not only the staff, the inmates, and also the public. Lieutenant Gallegos says the jail is moving toward providing more programming for the inmates and getting rid of hostile environments. He says inmates who are kept locked down for too long show more aggressive behavior. And Espinoza is a prime example. Now they're more considerate. They're more caring. They work with you on a one-on-one -on -one basis instead of just saying, well, I'll just lock him down because, you know, he's uh, just doing it acting out just because he was locked up you know you can find you can find me with all my energy and it, my energy turns negative the jail has also implemented 208 standards that inmates and officers must abide by these standards can be found in all pods where inmates can review them and know the policies staff must follow which officers say creates a sense of equality Along with these standards, Lieutenant Gallegos has demanded staff treat inmates with respect if they wish to receive it in return. Now, the jail is moving forward, always looking ahead and taking the next step to get both men and women inmates back to a life worth living. Lieutenant Gallegos says none of this would have been possible without the county commissioners and county managers' tools to ensure the safety and security of the staff and public. Reporting in the studio, Corey Duke, News Channel 10.